Hello everybody, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. Today's Monday. Monday means Sims 4 on this channel. And today we are doing something special. We are actually doing a shell challenge. And this shell challenge is by um, Elise Sims. I hope I remember that correctly. It is in the like the description of the lot, so it is the name is there. I will also link um, her Instagram page down below. So if you want to do the shell challenge, you can do it there. And if you have no clue what a shell challenge is, um, then you're probably new to the Sims community. Otherwise, you would probably know, I'm guessing. So let me explain. So the shell, so just the exterior walls are pre-built. A creator made this, uploaded to the gallery and said, hey, I'm doing a shell challenge. Um, here is a shell. Here are walls. Don't change them. Make something amazing out of it. So you can do anything that you want, except change the walls. So you, I can't add a room or make something smaller or just a little bit bigger. Can't do that. So obviously I can add interior walls to create a, create a floor plan. That's kind of necessary. So you have like this existing shell and that's it. Very fun because this was actually a tiny home. I love tiny homes, but I'm awfully bad at making them. So I'm very, very happy that someone created a shell. It gave me some new inspiration of what I could actually do with building. And now I'm actually working on something pretty cool for next week. But that's that's for next week, not for this week. So here we are creating a tiny home. The point of this challenge was to make a winter cozy home. And why do I think of winter? The third thing I think about is Christmas and the second thing is my birthday because my birthday is actually in the winter and that's why winter is the best season. Plus snow. Unfortunately, it really almost never snows anymore in my country because of global warming. But it used to, as a kid, I had so many Christmases with like snow and then for my birthday was there was more snow. So like my birthday is in January, like the, the 22nd of January. So. Oh, like lots of time there was lots of snow but unfortunately the lightest year is not so much anymore but you know it is what it is and we're just gonna have to deal with it and maybe someday hopefully this year we will have some more snow so my point of this being it needs to be a winter shell and I thought of Christmas so this is going to be a Christmas home but before we get to any decoration we are figuring out a floor plan and I had, like, I saw the shell and I was like, oh, this is going to be easy. I'll make a room there, room there, room there. Yeah, and then I forgot there was an upstairs, so I actually needed to put stairs in there. Which was kind of difficult, because the stairs are in a very unfortunate place, unfortunately. So that means we have a rather weird layout upstairs. We are going to make it work, though. I mean, how we are going to do that, I'm not going to tell you yet. You kind of need to watch the video to see how it turns out. Or you can skip, like... To the end of the screenshots but don't do that watch the video it's, it's fun i promise so right now um we are just figuring out the windows we are going to use cats and dogs and we are building in the world of cats and dog you know brindleton bay which is kind of my go-to world for challenges because i love the nature surrounding it i mean like this world and uh, mount komarabi are my favorite worlds so far just because of all the scenery that is outside i love it i mean we are building on the um abandoned lot i believe it was named that like the one that is completely out in the middle of nowhere in the woods i thought for a christmasy home we just had to go there it was necessary so here we are doing that this video is also a bit longer than you might expect that's and i i can't believe i'm saying that but that's because i didn't get bored with this build and i don't know how i didn't get bored with this build because you know it is rather small but i just had so many ideas and then it hit me, you know, because I didn't have to think about the exterior of the home, it was actually way easier. So what I'm just, from now I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna build walls and then I'm gonna figure it out how to actually make a home of it. I feel like that's gonna be a really good challenge. Or recreate an exterior that is in real life and then try to figure out the insides. Point of this entire intro being, um, this interior of this home is one of the best interiors I have done so far. And I know that sounds really weird because I have done a lot of interiors and I've built a lot of homes. But this home is really top notch. Like this might beat my um, base game family home. That was amazing as well. That had so, so many downloads on the gallery. Like it's, it's crazy, but I was really pretty as well. I believe I have a video of that on my channel. 
but I'm not sure that could I could have built that before I made my YouTube channel. I don't remember. So uh, anyways, it is on my gallery. Um, it is highlighted. So when you start up my gallery, it is the first thing you see. So if you want to check that out, there is a uh, well, not a link. My YouTube, my gallery name is in the description down below. You can look me up. I hope it works because um, I'm not really good with origin and the gallery, but we all knew that. So. So at the moment we are doing the landscaping and actually since the holiday season is upon us and Christmas is near, huzzah, I love Christmas, um, I wanted to do this little, don't want to say Christmas tree farm, but I did want to put a lot of Christmas trees in there, actually no pine trees because they're not decorated. So we are going to put a lot of them, plus they're one of the only trees that actually keep their green and that get covered in snow. A lot of the other plants just, you know, they get rid of their leaves and that's it and this one luckily doesn't and here we had those platforms and i had absolutely no clue what to do with that because i didn't want to incorporate it um in the actual build this is an entrance or something because i didn't want to work with platforms inside the home because it is small medium well like small wall height and i didn't want to make it any lower than it already was so I just figured out, you know what, I'm going to make some greening of it. And then obviously I didn't realize that the season was winter and that the green would actually be, you know, brown and dark green. But whatever, it's fine. In the end, it looks pretty good, in my humble opinion, that is. So here we are just checking out some more trees that we actually use, something that is covered in snow. And this is actually debug. And for the first time in a long time, I didn't actually have the debug mod installed. I usually use the better build by mod. Didn't do it this time because I have a feeling that that mod actually messes up my game somehow. And I feel like that's... I don't know, like sometimes, especially when I'm decorating kitchens and with stairs, like sometimes the um, message pops up, can't inter inter um, twine with other objects. And I'm like, well, there isn't an object here. And the only thing that I can think of is that like it's the mod that I have turned on, but that's all it. So I was too afraid of using it because sometimes it deletes objects as well. So here we are just doing the backyard. You know, a simple barbecue. Uh, we are going to change the color to blue in the end because I felt like that was a little bit more natural with the entire frosted, snowy Christmas look. I mean, red is obviously a Christmas color, but this red of that uh, barbecue, it stood out so much. It was actually ridiculous. So here we're just placing some planters and in a minute we actually are going to do something fun with those planters because I want it... Obviously like it's winter, you can't really put like plants in there because they become all like brown and I didn't want that. So we are going to put some inside plants in there and then we are going to raise some up, like we're going to raise it up, the planters, just to make sure that it looks nice. But we will get there in a minute, so... but you already know the idea. And I have to say, like, even though um, this entire lot is surrounded by woods and I made it surrounded by woods even more, I feel like it's really nice, especially with these flowers. And I imagine them to be frosted flowers and like nothing else. So here you see me trying out some of the plants. I was like, wait, they were going to turn brown. And this orange plant wasn't really like realistic. So in the end, we are going to place some ordinary uh, plants in there and we're actually going to lift up and copy the planter boxes Just to make sure that it really matches and we're gonna do the same for the other ones. We are gonna use this Star Wars plant and Actually gonna use the, the yellow swatch, which I feel was really, you know, there and it looks different I mean, I can't say it looks completely nice, but it looks different and I I mean I kind of like it to be honest And we are gonna put the uh, frosted Christmas trees outside and we're gonna cover the presents up a little bit with the other natural foliage that we have just to make it look like you're at this real Christmas market farm thing and I absolutely love the way it looks I believe we are only going to do some minor adjustments I was thinking of maybe putting some green on this plant on this home but looking at it um, it didn't look good and I think you can all agree with me on that it didn't look good so we aren't going to do that and I believe we are going to swap over to the interior after we finish this deck. We are going to put a lounge chair, chair here and this little ottoman. Just, you know, because 
in the summer you're gonna want to be there as well so and it wouldn't be logical to have all your outside furniture inside in the summer i mean like i never do that my furniture stays outside the entire year so i did that in this home as well there's a lot of um incorporating of real in real life stuff as i listen to it like that the first room we are actually going to uh do on the inside Oh, we're not going on the inside. Oh, never mind. Oh, right. I completely forgot this. We are firstly going to decorate the entire outside in Christmas style. I actually thought I did that last, but apparently I didn't. So you have like this um, Christmas rats, I believe. Rates? W-R-A-T-H. Wrath. No, rates. Whatever. The Christmas round things and the Christmas uh, ornaments. We're actually going to place them all around. Same with these giant reindeers. And we sized them up one. We are going to place a nutcracker as well. Because we are going all Christmas on this home. Like, all Christmas. The entire inside is going to be decorated with Christmas as well. But before we get to any of that, we are going to do the outside. And I feel like it's very difficult for me to talk about the outside. Because the inside is so amazing. So here we are going to put these little ornaments on the railing. And I actually felt that that looked quite nice. I mean, like, I don't have a railing like that at home, but if I had, I would totally put, like, uh, Christmas balls and little ornaments and everything on there and tinsel. Oh, I would totally do that. Same with this, um, that Christmas thing, you know, just place it on there and then some more tinsel surrounding that. I was wondering, should I do it a different color? But I feel like the dark green with the red is more natural than the blue. Even though the blue looks more frosted, I felt like the red was way more natural and way better for uh, this actual home. And that has to do with the inside as well, because the inside is very red as well. And obviously, um, I didn't knew that at the time I was doing this, but I had like a vague idea, like uh, the inside I'm probably gonna do mostly reds. And red is a very dangerous color in interior home, like let me know that it's very dangerous, because it's a very strong color. And if you don't proportion the white, uh, the red correctly, it looks awful. So for example, in my home, I have one red room, uh, red wall. So I was looking at this room, I meant wall. And that is the accent wall. And then the other walls are lighter to make it look more spacious. And we are going to do the same thing in this home. Like we're going to have some dark walls and then some really light walls just to make it look bigger. Because it is a tier three small home. So it only has a uh, hundred tiles. And I believe this home is exactly a hundred tiles. Ooh, and maybe actually I've gone over that because I added porches. So it, technically this could be like um, not a small home anymore. Whoops. I did not think of that. Well, that was foolish of me. Whatever. So here we are decorating the inside. Now we put the Christmas fireplace in there. And that is actually a ginormous thing. So we sized it down one, but that does mean... Like you can see uh, in a minute we are going to place a plant on there. And you can see that it actually floats above it because the actual placing is still on the natural height. So that was very tricky, but luckily we have the red shelf. I love my red shelf. I love it, love it, love it. Use it for almost everything. And we can just freely place objects wherever, we, wherever I want. And I feel like that is really, really good to have that. So here we are making this little uh, corner behind the Christmas tree, actually in front of the Christmas tree. And I have to say that Christmas tree, it is so big. Like it is such a giant tree and then this room is quite small. So even without this Christmas tree, it would still be such a hassle to fit like all the furniture in here. So, you know, luckily um, only one sim can live in here, like max two, but not more because it is really small. And I'm sure there are people that are doing this and they're like, oh, well, I, I made it fitting for like a, a 20 sims or eight because that's the max, but you know what I'm saying. I can't do that. I love my space. I love putting a lot of uh, clutter down, especially in kitchens and living rooms. So as you can see, there isn't a lot of space for clutter, but we are going to use quite a bit. Same here, because I wanted some plants in there, but it just didn't fit. And I also wanted some more presents. So we are just going to fill up this place with presents. Now, if you want to see uh, more detailed screenshots, then in the end of this video, there is a link to my Instagram down below in the description as well. And you can just um, look at it there because I do upload more photos on my Instagram and you get small previews of my next projects. 
So bear that in mind. Looks like we are doing our excellent uh, wool. Woohoo! And we are gonna add some little painting, like the little uh, flower painting, and then we are gonna add some curtains. And these festive curtains, I believe they're curtains, yes. And I absolutely love the way it looks, and we are gonna do that all around the home. And I felt like those are curtains that you are just gonna place for a one-time use, so we are gonna still have our normal um, curtains and then just the Christmas curtains in there. And I didn't want to have um, like a normal dining room table, so we are gonna put like the bar stools there, just to give it a little bit different effect, like I wanted it to be different than other homes. Now for the kitchen, we are gonna use um, Jungle Adventure, I believe the pack is called. Yeah, Jungle Adventure counters. And we're gonna use yellow, and I know yellow is a very... Col it's a color that you don't see a lot, but I love the yellow in The Sims 4. Especially this one, it looks so bright and I like it. And normally I hate yellow. I can't pull off yellow as well. The only color yellow that I can pull off is uh, Spongebob yellow. Because it's a very, very weird color yellow. I mean, like, I am very pale, like, very pale. I'm literally, I look like a vampire. So I can't wear yellow because it makes me look even more paler than I already am. Same with gray, I can't pull off gray. However, dark colors, they look amazing on me. So naturally, I love dark colors in homes as well. But for this home, you know, we're doing the shell challenge. Shell challenges are about getting out of your comfort zone. So I did that. I used other furniture than I normally would have. I mean, I'm still using the same microwave that I always use, but that's not important right now. Now, bear in mind, we are in a tiny home, so our kitchen is going to be tiny as well. So we are not gonna have as much clutter as we normally do, but I love the way it looks. I mean, it, it looks totally natural and something you would see in every home. And that's just me talking to uh, for myself, but I love it. Same here with the shoes. With the new uh, expansion, Snowy Escape, this shoe rack has actually become functional. So if you click on it, you can actually set uh, house rules. So shoes must be worn in this home. Shoes must always be off in this home. Or you must wear slippers or sandals or... I, I believe the correct word is slippers for that, right? The Dutch word is pantoffels, but I forgot the English one. I <laughs> mean, words, am I right? So right now we are going to add some lightning in here because it was pretty darn dark. And we are going to use a lot of tiny living. You, you all know that it's my favorite pack to use. I love tiny living, so naturally we are going to use it a lot. Same with Snowy Escape. I love the objects from Snowy Escape. I believe we used the Snowy Escape um, shingles on the roof as well. I believe, I don't quite remember, but I think we used those. And with all the furniture, it's cheap. I love that's like I think it was since the Strangerville expansion that like uh, windows became very cheap, like base game windows. They're almost like three hundred simoleons, while uh, Strangerville they're like fifty, max. Such a huge change. I believe that's also so with the cats and dog ones. I mean cats and dogs are quite cheap as well. I believe windows for cats and dog are around thirty simoleons. Depending on which window you pick, of course. I believe the very big ones are 55 simoleons. Oh yes, that, that little poof, it reminded me of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Naturally it isn't, but it just reminded me of that. If only we had that in a red swatch with a... Or, or, yeah, a red swatch with a red nose and a brown uh, reindeer. That would be amazing. And we are going to use pink in this room. Because I built this on Wednesday and on Wednesday we wear pink. And if you don't get that reference, you're probably very young or never watched Mean Girls. If you haven't, go watch Mean Girls. I like it. It's fun. Yeah, so right now I was just cluttering up the downstairs, making sure that it looks all complete. And just, um, you know, trying not to think of the bathroom. Because decorating bathrooms, I'm not good at it. I don't care for it. I mean, it's a bathroom. What do you got to do there? Like, you got to shower. Um, and use the toilet and wash your hands. That's what you need to do in a, in, a, in a bathroom. And maybe do laundry, but laundry wouldn't fit in this bathroom, so we're not doing that in this build. But otherwise, man, bathrooms are boring for me to decorate, especially in tiny homes, because normally you don't have that much space. And this bathroom is actually quite large. I mean, given the tiny home aspects, it is actually quite a big bathroom. 
So I just, you know, p putting it off, didn't want to do that. So instead we are doing this fun thing with the lights and with the, sh with the thing. Tank, tank, oh, I've, I can't, I can't say words anymore. Tinsel. Man. I talk way too fast, I'm sorry. If I, if I talk very fast, I'm very sorry, but I'm very enthusiastic about this home. And I just want you guys to know about it and know my ideas because I, for once, I'm actually really proud of home. And I haven't been that in quite a while, to be honest. I'm pretty worn out with Sims 4. Um, that's also one of the main reasons. There is actually a um, Planet Coaster on this channel as well. And Planet Zoo. And Sims 4, or not only Sims 4, or like mostly Sims 4. I just got a little worn out with it. I need, I need some more interesting ideas and I just don't have them anymore. I feel like I build a lot and I can keep building the same and the same and the same and the same and the same all over again. But I don't, to be honest, that's not really worth my time. And that sounds really awful to say it, but it's really not worth my time. I'm sorry, but I'm not really sorry. Anywho, right now we are doing the upstairs. And the upstairs, it's gonna be pretty basic. So we are gonna have this little corner where there is a bed. Oh, I didn't put a dresser in this home. I mean, like technically you don't need one. You can still just use the mirror, but I forgot to do a dresser. Oopsies. Like, and I've, I wanted to do the upstairs and I was like, I can't forget the dresser. I need to remember to put a dresser in there. And what did I forget? I forgot the dresser. Oh, well, you know, it is what it is. So here we are just trying to do some of the more festive decorations above the windows and I absolutely love it. Same, okay, at the end of this build there's gonna be some really amazing trick with the Christmas trees but I'm gonna wait to tell you that later. I did remember to put a skill building object in here like it's the easel and I feel like you know given the entire style of this home there will be a lot for you to paint because we have a lot of Christmas things. And I just love it. I absolutely, I can't, I can't say that enough, but I'm in love with how this build actually looks. I really, really am. And I, I just, I can't, I can't express it. I'm just so happy with the way that it turns out and the way that it actually looks. I mean, that being said, this is like a shell challenge. So naturally I have like a lot of ideas. If you have ideas or things for me to build in The Sims, or in Planet Coaster or in Planet Zoo, or you have like suggestions for another building game, please let me know in the comments down below. I am always up for that. So, you know, let me know and I'll see what I can do with it. Okay, just let me know, please. So here we are making a little seating area uh, with some plants, very cute. And then we are going to add, I was thinking of maybe adding a painting, but it looked really um, rushed, like I didn't really want to do anything and it looked totally out of place. So here we are just going to copy and paste over the same bookcase that we used on the other side of the room. I mean, I was thinking of doing something else, but these ones just fitted perfectly in there. And I believe we are now just gonna add the Christmas trees after adding a little painting. And we are actually going to size them down and make sure that we have, can fit two of them upstairs. So we are gonna put a very decorative uh, Christmas tree under the, uh, well, near to the desk. And then we're gonna put a green Christmas tree with a little light on the table. But first we are just gonna place some more tingle there. Like, there we go, we are placing it, making sure the presents are hide it, are like not seeable. And I absolutely love it. So guys, we are now heading into the screenshots. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And you can also hit the bell icon if you want to. And I will hope to see you guys on the next video. <laughs> Bye guys.